phone connected. All right. Okay. Okay. You just need to keep up. It needs to be near the bike. Traditional turn signal, so it's not your standard Harley. Okay. So it does. Um, it clunks when you shift. That's normal. Okay. Kickstand's a little more forward than you're probably used to. Okay. Um, other than that, it's in road mode. Okay. in neutral. So. What's the lighting bit? 20th? Of what? August. There. Let's do it cycle. It's a one push start. Alright. Sweet. All right, folks, out here on the Pan America, this is a big bike. It kind of feels like the handlebars are up kind of high, like up here high. It's got a nice screen on it. Be careful when I stop. It feels pretty good in the suspension. So it's kind of clunky when it shifts, like you said, but um, this is a beautiful bike. I'm afraid to ride this thing because like, I don't want to drop it. It's so beautiful. It's like my favorite color blue too. Ooh, it, sh it it doesn't shift that clunky. Feels good when it shifts. Oh my God, it's got a lot of power. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. I don't see the gear indicator. And I believe, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it's in fourth gear. Man, I just kind of rolled on the throttle a little bit and it just wanted to get up and go. Wow. go in here and turn around downshift man the, the clutch feels really good that, that's this thing almost feels like smoother than mine uh, turn signal is like a click I'm just coming here second gear um, I don't know if it has self-canceling turn signals I guess not the bike is uh, 580 pounds I believe he said um, it doesn't feel that bad like far as weight goes um it's just the seating position and the handlebars are a little foreign to me because it feels like the handlebars are like way out there i'm five foot nine and like this would fit a big person really good um but the, the pegs are up high though right so um but man it's got a steering stabilizer this is a solid bike here solid bike Be nice to tour on the seat feels really comfortable it's huge i can sit back in the seat <laughs> and then lean up on the gas tank and uh this thing's rad <laughs> i could get used to this this would be a this would be a fun touring bike i'm not sure about off-roading with something this size but i know i've seen videos of guys just mashing on this thing off-road so um they go off-road they definitely go off road. It's an adventure bike. <laughs> so, Harley.
Harley Davidson. Yeah, baby. I just feel like my arms are sticking straight out in front of me. Six hundred and sixteen miles on this. So like I said, he said it was still in the break-in period. But even in the break-in period, it's got masses, masses of power. Masses of power. <laughs> Mass amounts of power. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, honestly, once it's rolling, it doesn't feel that heavy. Now, the front end feels a bit weird, and it's only because I'm not used to the bike. Um, so, like, the low speed, it feels like it kind of wants to turn all of a sudden, but... Uh, sounds cool. That thing's rad, man. That's a really, really nice bike. <laughs> man. Not really, but it's got loads of power. Like, I was in fourth gear just kind of going down there, and I just kind of rolled on it, and it's like, boom. Man. And it's so beautiful. The color is awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. No problem. It would be really responsive and smart. <clears throat> yeah? <laughs> you, yeah, you just barely touch the yeah. throttle. Yeah? Man, that's crazy. Downtown, it's all glass mirrors all the way around. It's all left turns. You can see yourself the whole way. <laughs> <laughs>